All right, guys, welcome back to another Gray Zone Warfare Guide video. Today, we're going to talk about the armors in the game and the protection levels and what you want to be rocking when you go out there to make sure you're the most protected. A couple of things I want to go over are the protection level and then the plates where they're located at. So, the Protection level is actually based of a real world system. Um, so tier three, tier three A, you can tell those numbers right there are actually correlated to an IRL um, bullet penetration uh, for the vet for the plates. Excuse me, sorry, brain's a little mush. We're a little tired. Um, so the ones I'll explain to you are tier three A is actually below tier three, and then tier three plus is above tier three. So you have tier three A, tier three, and then tier three plus in that order, just like that. Um, as far as level two vendors, this is these are the armors you can buy right now. You cannot buy any tier three plus, but you might find some of that out in the wild in some chests or locked rooms. Um, so the the way it works is tier three A will protect you from like nine millimeter and some high velocity forty five caliber or. 45 caliber bullets um, that'll protect you with tier 3a you won't get protection from 556 with with tier 3 you get protection from 556 m855 762x39 and then 762 by 51 so that's the difference in between tier 3a and tier 3 tier 3 is going to be better protection overall to um, avoid getting shot and penetrated to your skin so the next thing you want to be looking for is the armor plates where they're located at so if you look here on this top left one, you can tell that the plates are highlighted in front, back, and not the side. What this means is if you get shot from the side, there's nothing there besides some clothing, some padding, and the bullets will just go right through. So I was actually getting, uh, what I didn't even realize early on in the game was the fact that I didn't have, I was running this vest, this plate rig, and it didn't have any back or side protection because I didn't even recognize that on the top left. What this means is I was getting shot in the back and I was, the armor was just, there wasn't any armor for any bullets to just to stop the the bullets from coming through and hitting my body i was just getting shot straight through the clothing and straight through the padding with these other armors so for example this one these two you see here especially the one on the left the modular operator you have front back and sides so you're completely covered um especially if the ai is all around you you're not gonna have to worry about any of the directional shots or where they're coming from unlike the one here you don't have side armor but you do have front and back plates and it is tier three so it's technically a little bit better in protection level but with the tier three a you have front back and sides. so you kind of just need to pick whichever one you want to go with you also have the vest here but you'll also need a um, tack vest to put over and be able to take the pouches and the magazines because this doesn't have any slots unlike the tack vests that do these have armor and slots for you to be able to take your magazines in so i definitely recommend one of these two right now for level two traders but as far as what you're looking for is the protection level 3a being a little bit worse than three and the plate carriers where they're located at so definitely avoid something that's like this that's just the front i don't know why you would want that especially with the way ai can just sneak up behind you um tier three front back is definitely the way to go in my opinion or at least front back inside but tier 3a just be aware that some more bullets may penetrate you um as far as the helmets go as well really quick to touch on this i believe they're all tier 3a right now as far as level two vendor so they can protect you from 9 by 19 and uh, 45 caliber ammo, but you won't be protected from 556 ammo, as you can tell. And you've probably um, gotten shot in the head by a higher higher caliber gun. Um, this will actually just not be able to protect you. You might, you know, get lucky in a ricochet or something like that, but it'll most of the time just kill you straight to the head. So that ultimately covers the armor right now in tier two traders and the armor in tier one traders that you can get in the game and what you need to be looking out for and hopefully prepare yourself before you go into the combat zone hopefully this helped you out guys if it did a like goes a super long way and something to the channel just helps the growth i mean we've just been absolutely just blowing up over the last two days it's been insane if you want to show some love outside of youtube i'm also have my twitch channel twitch.tv slash one shot rich and if you want to follow me over on twitter.com for more personal updates twitter.com slash one shot rich appreciate you guys i'll catch you all later peace